us as Centro Primo Levi, uh, devoted to the study of the, of the Italian Jews, the Italian Jewish community, the history of Italian Jews. Uh, the idea was to celebrate Israel in a way that has to do with our uh, role, with our history, with our focus. Some of these people left Italy before the racial laws of 1938, some during the racial laws, some after the war. And uh, you will see by yourself, uh, it's uh, a very little known history. Enzo Sereni an Italian Jew, a Zionist Jew, a Jewish figure on the border who incorporate a complex question about the Jewish double belonging as well as the universal anxiety and revolutionary utopias of the Jewish world after emancipation. To be a Jew and to be a Zionist became a springboard for Sereni into flight, the initial step into political action in the world. The significance of the duality Judaism-Zionism was for him one of the universal revolt, a revolt against oppression. Enzo's brother, Emilio, wrote to him about this in 1927. I am convinced that one cannot relate to Zionism and Palestine as entities separate from the world. And there are forces in the world that, as has been the case until now, if we don't take them into account, will arise Jewish Palestine in a flash. Official Zionism, organized Zionism, does not show any sign of understanding this point. And everybody remains with eyes closed in order not to see. Now it is impossible that the fate of Palestine be dependent on a game, as has been the case until now. I remember that you were always critical of all the holy unions with respect to the Italian political struggle. I don't think that a different stance should be taken with regard to Eretz Israel. It remains to be seen, in short, whether you agree or disagree to submit to chance, to sacrifice national interest for the sake of social interest. If not, you cannot call yourself a socialist. The labor union, which stands from the proletariat Zionism, could have been just like all the movements of oppressed nations a revolutionary basis, a basis of power for England. I don't know where you stand politically, but I hope that you will be convinced that this is the way we must guide our action in Palestine. We cannot be socialist in the house of the others and social chauvinist in our own house. Italians uh, went to Israel uh, with the idea of returning uh, to their homeland as all the other Jews. Uh, but uh, um, certainly there is always the hope uh, of uh, having a new life, uh, in a, a life uh, not only of uh, a better living condition, but especially a life of freedom and uh, possibility to keep the identity and to cultivate the identity. And the people that went to the first kibbutzim, uh, very, usually very open-minded people. They wanted to belong to an equalitarian society. Uh, most of them were socialist. Uh, they, they were idealistic people and they were visionaries. I think we have to go back to that ideal because what it is today, it has already changed. Uh, there is not anymore the pioneering uh, feeling ideals. From their socialistic views that they had then, it brought them to the ideal of democracy. And that's what's very important. <laughs>